All right, we are going to work on our word root book. Word roots. This is what we're working on. So we are on page 26. 26. So our root word this week is Audi. A U D I. Who can tell me by looking at the very top, there is a little box that says root, and then it says meaning. What does this root word mean? Everyone should have their hands up. On the right or the left hand top corner, there is a little box that says root and meaning with A-U-D-I in the box. What does it mean? What does that root mean? Okay. Page 26, top, there is a little box, one on the left-hand side that has the root and meaning. Audi is the root. What is the meaning of that root word? Gabe? Here? Yes. So, we have all these suffix, suffix, ooh, say that, that's hard to say, suffix, suffix, suffix. especially the mask on, that have different, so does the suffix come before or after the root word? Before or after? Luke? Um, after? Yes. So the suffix, E-N-C-E, -E, what does that mean? What is the meaning of that? O-N. Yes. I-S-T, ist. What does that suffix mean? Olivia? Yes, one who. Ology, O L O G, or just oleg, oleg, not ology, that's the next one. Oleg, what is that? Toby. Yes, ology is same thing, study of science. Okay, we have orium. It says T dash orium. But orium is the suffix. What is that? Cool. Like here. Yes. Ori, O-R-Y. What is the meaning of that? Tessa. Like here. Yes. Shun, T-I-O-N. What is that, James? Meaning. Great yes. Okay, so now we have the root, which is audi, which means to hear. And then when you add Audi to all of these suffix, we get different words. And so now we have auditory, auditory. So we do know that all of these words have something to do with what? What is the meaning again? Backing way, circling back to the very beginning, Christian. Yes, so I'm gonna write the words on the board. I can get the marker open. There we go. So auditory. So start looking at the suffixes. That will start helping you form the idea of what these words mean. Did you have to audition for your musical? No. No. Who has ever had to audition for something? Just wait, I may ask when I'm actually looking at you instead of having my back. I don't have eyes in my back, unfortunately. We have a lot of words this week. All right. So, underline the suffixes and circle the roots. 
So what again is the root word of all, or the root of all of these words? What is the root of all of these words? Everyone needs to track the speaker. I did not ask you to start doing the work. I asked a question. What is the root of all of these words? That is what you are what? Supposed to do what to the root? James. Circle. Circle. So you're going to go on your, there's that little box. I would like for you to circle the root and underline the suffix. So I will do a couple and then you're going to do the rest. So circle the root and underline the suffix. Circle the root. So be careful. Look at what the suffix, suffix is. You, uh, you can audition for a team or a performance, a musical performance, dance performance, all kinds of performance. You have to try out, try out. Terrifying. <laughs> um, Owen. On our other school, we had to do one every year. For what? For sports or for what? You have to do an audition for what? An audition is very specific, for a very specific thing. Like music. Oh, for music. Okay, it's like singing or an instrument. Wow, very good. I think auditions are terrifying if you have to go by yourself. No. Just saying. No, 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 no. Um, M. Um, it was a musical. Caroline. I auditioned for painting. Yes. I think those are always scary. But if you're really awesome, uh, if you're good at what you're doing, it's not as scary, I guess. Um, e. Musical. Musical. When she. Very good. Uh, Cole, your hand up. Piano. Piano. Nice. Uh, Grant. Tryouts. Tryouts for a sport. Uh, Gosh, there's such a glare, so if I have to squint to see you all. Christian. Sports. Sports. Grayson. Um, I have two different sports. So you had to do two auditions for two different. Basketball and soccer. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, Luke. Try to apply for sports. Yes. Uh, Gabe. Sports. Emma. Can you do Very good. Um, Jonathan. Basketball. Basketball. Jeremiah. Uh, basketball, baseball, dance. Very good. Caroline. Semantics. So there's um, tryouts. They're called tryouts or auditions. Usually tryouts are more sports related. Auditions are more for dance or music or something like that. So sounds like a lot of you have gone through them. So. A lot of times, if you're a dancer, or if you are a singer, or a performer, you're going to perform in this first word, a place where lectures, concerts, and other events are held. Is that an auditory, an auditorium, audition, audiologist, audiology, or audience? The audience will be sitting in this place. Emmy. 
auditorium. An auditorium is a big, 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 big place that you go and you listen and watch a performance. So auditorium is number one. So write auditorium in that first line. So there's two words, auditory and audio, audio, ugh, speak Lisa, audiologist, very similar. Which one do you think is the scientific study of hearing? Now look at your, look at your uh, suffix. The scientific study of hearing. Is that a auditory, audition, audiologist, audiology, or audience. Look at your suffix and try to discern which one it is. Grayson. Audiology? Yes, that is correct. Audi audi <laughs> audiology, this is reaching <laughs> today. Audiology is the study of hearing. So, the next one, we were just talking about it. A brief act of singing or performing another skill when speaking a role in a movie or play. Is that an auditory, an audition, an audiologist, or an audience? When Sheen, what did you say? Auditory, no. We were just talking about it. Tessa. Audition. audition. So you have to audition. You want a part in a play or a musical or um, any kind of performance. You have to audition with uh, lots of people maybe coming and auditioning for the same part. Uh, yes, Olivia. I have a comment about this, about auditions. Yeah. Okay, let her speak, please. Um, um, and he um, is a, he wants to be a ballerina and he auditions. Yes. Mm. Yes. Part of Clara Nutcracker. Yes. Now I that my daughter was a ballerina and she was Clara and the Nutcracker and she had to go through many auditions. I don't know who was more nervous, me or her. So it's very nerve wracking. So an audition is. Trying out for a part. And oftentimes you're trying out against a lot of people. All right. One who is trained to treat hearing and ear problems. So look up at your meanings of your suffix. One who is trained to treat hearing and ear problems. An auditory, an audiologist, or an audience. Grant. Um, Auditory? No. Close. Tor uh, Toby. Audiologist. Audiologist. Now, if you look at your meaning of your suffix, if you look up the IST, one who. And the, the answer is, or the question is, one who is trained to treat hearing and ear problems. See how that works? So it is an audiologist, this one.
So you uh, auditioned and you got a part in a performance. And you are performing at the auditorium after your audition. So number five, a group of people listening to a performance. What would that be? Auditory or audience? These are the people who will be listening to the performance. Christian. Audience. audience. Very good. This last one's going to be tough. I don't know. Can you all handle it? Yeah. Process of elimination of or relating to the process of hearing. Which one? Hmm, I wonder what it is. It's really hard. I'm so happy to see most everybody's hands up. Grayson. Auditory. Auditory. Very good. Auditory is the study of related to hearing. Very good. All right, let us move to page 27. Draw a line from each word to the picture that shows its meaning. So you don't have all the words, you have auditorium, audition, audiologist, and audience. Now, they, are there, is there a picture for each word? No. no, there is not. There are three pictures and there are four words. So be very careful of what goes where. So you may begin. Yes, um. Because they are sitting in the one and the people sitting in the one is yes. So yes, I would say that is true. So the middle one, the block with the, looks like there's a stage, but there's a group of people sitting in would, would be uh, for two words. That's all I'm going to tell you. You can figure that one out. So what is the first one? Where did you draw the arrow to? It looks like he's singing. <laughs> what do you think he's doing? I think he's singing. So what, do you, where, what word did you draw to that? Emmy. Audition is correct. So this one, next one, this, next, this big square has two words associated with it. Um, what is one? Auditorium. They're sitting in a giant auditorium waiting with bated breath to hear the performance. Um, and then what would the other one be associated with that picture, Jeremiah? Uh, audience. Yes. All those people. They are the audience watching the performance. But who is, the, who is the dude putting something in that poor guy's ear? Is he torturing him? What's he doing? <laughs> what would he be? Owen. Yes, which is somebody who studies hearing problems and fixes them, like a doctor. All right, so very good. Let us turn to the last segment. We are going, you're going to use the words in Hey, on page 26 on that little group, or the group of words I have on the board. Well, let's just use those. To fill in the story. P, 
People studying what are concerned about the noise in our lives and in our ears. Who is a st who studies hearing basically? Which of those words on the board? Tessa. Audiologist. Very good. Yes, Cole. Um, I have a comment. Yes. Wow. So then, um, if you are auditioning to be in a recital or what? Yeah. yeah. Do the recital, nice. Very good. Don't quit piano. Do not. That is my biggest regret. I quit and I wish I did not because I wish I could play the piano. Sometimes it gets a little boring, like any instrument, but stay with it because it's so valuable. And a piano you can play for the rest of your life. Um, Emma. Yes. It was, you were so scared? Yeah. <laughs> you were freaked out of the doll or? Oh, really? You were scared of the doll? Oh. <laughs> I thought you were scared of being in front of the people, of the audience, but you were freaked out. <laughs> okay. Um, yes, Emma. Oh, are you, do you and Emma go, to the, Emma go to the same church? Oh, how fun. Are you in the same musical as Em? No, okay. All right, let's move on. Recently, students at our school gathered in the school blank to learn about noises. Suddenly, we were hearing chainsaws, snowmobiles, and even car horns. Where would you go to gather a large group of what? what are the, which one of these words? Would you go to a bunch of people are going to go sit in there? I need everybody to track, sit forward with your feet on the ground. Grayson. Auditorium. Yes, an auditorium. Actually, you know what, friends? We did a boo-boo. Yeah. The first one is not an audiologist. I got messed up because that comes up. People studying what? Are concerned about noise in our lives and in our ears. Now, the, I got stuck on the word people. But we're not talking about the specific person. We're talking about the specific study. Grayson, I want you to take your hat and take it off, please. We're goofing around with it, so put it, in, put it in your crate. So what is the study of hearing? M. Audio, audiology. Audiology. So people, I was stuck on that. It's not, it's the studying that we need to be focused on. The study of audiology is the study of hearing. So now the speaker, a blank, told us that all those sounds we're over 100 decibels in sound measurement. So the speaker, who would be the study, who is the person that studies audiology? Cole. Audiologist. Yes, audiologist. So this one, you have to listen very closely. Even sounds coming through earbuds to an blank of one person can be over 100 decibels. 
The safest level for our ears is 85. So that's a good thing to remember. When you have earbuds in, you need to make sure it's not too loud because you're hurting your ears. They sound like a mother. Even sounds coming through earbuds to an, so to a person, which would be a person, not the person studying he, uh, hearing. What it would be the person that would be receiving the noise in the auditorium? When Sheen. Yes, very good. Yes, the ear is a fascinating, fascinating part of our body. All right, hearing high blank levels can cause permanent damage to our ears. Which one do you think that is? Hearing high blank levels can cause permanent damage to our ears. Owen. Yes. Very good. All right. Now, I would like for you to put this away and get out Charlotte. Yes. Yes. All right, we are going to read Charlotte, so I would suggest you all do the same. 